Hey guys, it's been a lot of fun to see all of your pings and your submissions for the My Cooking Journey 2021 collaboration. Again, it's an open collab where you can create any Indian inspired dish which you've never made before or put an Indian twist to one of your all time favorites. This is all in celebration of Independence Day for India which is coming up really soon on the 15th of August and the collab is going to be all throughout the month of August. So feel free to ping me and let's get started with this video. So today's video will be short and sweet. We're going to be making some khichdi in the instant pot. And no, I'm not talking about the TV show. Hit that comment section down below if you know exactly what show I'm talking about. Now the best way to describe khichdi would be a lentil and rice porridge. It's meant to be a really simple plain dish but because the base the main dish is so plain you can really do anything you want with it now before we get in to the actual recipe let me tell you how I even thought of making this so it's 2021 right and we are all getting our vaccines so I got my second one and the second day I was dying head hurting joints hurting backache and I had no motivation at all to spend more than a few minutes in the kitchen. And that's when I remembered khichdi. We were always told as kids that if your stomach is upset, if you're not feeling well, then keep your food simple. And the best, tastiest, healthiest, and simplest dish is this rice and lentil porridge or khichdi. Now, we are going to start by setting that instant pot into saute mode and then heat up some ghee, which is great for you. It's great for you to help absorb vitamin A, it has soluble fats, and it has some omega-3 fatty acids, which are great for you. Add a bunch of cumin seeds and let that get nice and toasted. And then some heen, which is again, great for digestion. While the instant pot is heating up and the ghee is heating, go ahead and measure equal parts of yellow moong dal and rice. Rinse that up, you can mix it all together and then wash it a few times just to get the excess starch, the excess grit out of the lentils. And then once the cumins are nicely toasted, add in your drained lentils and rice into the instant pot. And then immediately season with turmeric, salt to taste, give that a quick mix and then add your water. Then close the instant pot, set it to pressure cook mode, and then set the timer for five to six minutes. Make sure the valve is set to sealing mode, and then just let that cook. You wanna let that cook until that timer goes off and the pressure releases naturally. And the best thing about making this in the instant pot is because I was not feeling that great, I was having a nap, I was sleeping, and I heard the beep, and then I heard the valve click and I didn't have to get up. I didn't have to like turn off the pressure cooker if you were making it on the stove. And that's what makes the instant pot method so much better. And here is what you're gonna have. This is perfect. A great simple dish to pick you up when you are down and what more could you want from a dish that was made so easily. And I hope all of you are doing well. And if you're not, you know what your pick me up is going to be. So be sure to hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, ping me once you have your video ready for the collaboration for the My Cooking Journey 2021 collab. And I'll put your video in the playlist so everybody can learn, enjoy, and have fun together. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.